Uh, well, here we are. Morning time. I love the morning. Yeah, this um, uh, this weekend uh, I was doing. Uh, well, I'm always on. Uh, well, yeah, I'm always on uh, Google Plus. Uh, that's where I post. I don't do the rest of the social media, none, none of that other stuff. Okay, um, so I post on there and I react to there and stuff like that. But I got. I was looking on it, and uh, a friend of mine from the uh, this brother uh, up to line, uh, Mauro, uh, to line, he's um, he's a uh, Swazi. I think he's Swazi in Tulsa, um, but uh, anyway, he lives in Cape Town, and he posts from Cape Town. I'm here now. So doesn't matter. Anyway, he posted this thing, and I think uh, maybe I'll put a, a, a link a link to it on this on YouTube. Uh, it's really a powerful, uh, powerful little piece uh, about. Well, don't worry about it. It's about you. Figure it, figure it out. Uh, but one of the lines in there um, inspired this piece of writing. Um, and I'm, when I write poetry, let's make like this is poetry. When I write poetry, I call the uh, uh, poetry from the brother Anthony. Okay. Anyway, it goes like this. One does not choose the dream. The dream chooses you. Live the dream. Live the you. Hey, that's what I got from this, this, this posting. This is, uh, you know, I don't have to look it up. But, but I think the things, something, something like he was talking about Martin Luther King and how uh, he didn't really, uh, that the dream, he lived the dream, something. I don't know, I have to look back on it myself. But let me say it again, I like it. One does not choose the dream. The dream chooses you. Live the dream. Live the you. I like that one. Now, here's the other thing. I was also, this whole thing, uh, what happened? I was, uh, oh, it was, what's that, uh, uh, the magician, uh, 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 Penn, of Penn and Teller. Teller's the one that doesn't talk here, Penn, uh, Gillette Penn. He's a libertarian, you know. My issue with libertarians is that, well, I don't have an issue with libertarians, everybody. I, I'm like a libertarian because people should do what they want. And uh, well, anyway, he makes a really good point. Maybe I'll put that link to too, because he's on a big think, I think, is a lot. But anyway, he did this whole uh, thing on libertarianism. He talked about Trump and Hillary and, and uh, Bernie Sanders and uh, and Gary Johnson, the libertarian guy. And um, so I, I wrote I wrote this in res not response, but um, inspired by his his talk. Fear is the hill not conquered. Fear wins. Brackets trumps truth. Though truth fears, whoop, sorry, let me try that over again. Fear is the hill not conquered. Fear wins Trump. Hmm. Ah, oh, I got it. Let me try it again. One more time. Third time's a charm. Here we go. Fear is the hill not conquered. Fear wins. Trump's truth. Though Trump fears truth. Anyone with a glib tongue can turn a movement into a mob. Jill can neither turn a mob nor turn a movement. Gary is a Johnson. The empire crumbles upon the downtrodden. So that actually came from Penn and then, uh, oh yeah, uh, Dr. Cornel West was, uh, was interviewed by Democracy Now. I'm talking about Jill Stein, that's why all that's in there. But um, let me not do that again. So that was the third time, so that's the charm. So all that, have, oh, let me say one more thing, then I'll get out of here. Paul's supposed to be short, even though I come from the poetry tradition of the 60s where we had these introductions that were longer than the poem. If, you, if you've been around, then you know what I mean from the Black Arts Movement. Uh, here's something. I. I when I got this book, uh, because I'm using it for my uh, for my postgraduate studies, this is a book called Ella Baker, Ella Baker and the Black Freedom Movement and Radical Democratic Vision by Barbara Ransby. Anyway, um, when I got the book, you know, I, have to, I have to do some research. I'm using this book uh, to do some research from this book. But when I got the book, for some reason, I just wrote in it. I wrote in it. Now, here's what I, I wrote. The situation is thus. For the most part, black folk don't want to be wrong or wronged. And white folk don't want anyone else to be right 
or for themselves to be righted. That was written on August 3rd. Anyway, so, so that's it uh, for me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect.